Dragon and the Nibblesome Knight, written by Ellie Woolard and illustrated by Benji Davies. The Dragons of Dread were a terrible bunch. They ate boys for their breakfast and girls for their lunch. But their best things of all, their favorite delights, were dribblesome, nibblesome, gnawled knee nights. When the smallest of all the dragons turned four, his parents said, Dram, you're a baby no more. This nest getting cramped and you've never once flown. Now go bite a nibblesome night of your own. So Dram stretched his wings and he started to flap. But the lightning went flash and the thunder went clap. It held and it gailed, and the winds looped and curled, and they whisked Dram away to the end of the world, where he thump and he bumped and went bounce, clatter, crash, and he fell in a lake with a fountainous splash. Now, watching the skies by the edge of the shore was young James, who had not seen a dragon before, and he cried, What was that? It's some rare kind of duck. It seems to be hurt. What to do? What bad luck? So he took off his armor and said to with a grin, I'm coming to help you, and waded right in. A lad, muttered Dram. Well, he might taste all right, but my mom said I must nab a nibblesome night. And he stretched out a claw, then suddenly stopped. His leg was all bent and his paws simply flopped. Oh, ducky! cried James. Why, you poor injured thing, sit yourself down and I'll make you a sling. That's better, thought Dram. Now I must find a bite of a dribblesome nibblesome, nobbled knee night. So he waved a goodbye and he tried to breathe smoke. But all that came out was a hoarse kind of croak. Oh, ducky, cried James as Dram struggled to roar. What a strange sort of quack. Why, your throat must be sore. Come to the woods and I'll fetch you some honey. It's good medicine, all soothing and runny. That's better, thought Dram. Now I must find a bite of a dribblesome, nibblesome, nobbled knee night. So he waved goodbye and started to fly, but his wings were too weak to take off in the sky. Oh, ducky, cried James. I'm so dreadfully rude. You must feel quite faint. Let me get you some food. Come to the orchard, we'll soon fill our tums full of pears and pink peaches and big purple plums. That's better, yawned Ram. Now I must find a bite, but he fell fast asleep in the moon marbled night. In the morning, Dram woke and said, Hey, I feel fine. Soon a bite of a nibblesome night will be mine. And he bellowed out billions of billowing flames. Then he thought, I'll say goodbye to that little lad James. So he strode down the road and he stomped through the field. And there was young James with a sword and a shield. You're a knight, shouted Dram. You're not simply a lad. You're a dragon, yelled James. You're all beastly and bad? E yes, muttered Dram. I suppose I should bite. Oh, mumbled James, and I guess I should fight. It must be all over, the finish, the end. Then they both said at once, but I can't. You're my friend. My friend, chortled James as he put down his sword. My friend, shouted Dram as he smiled as he roared. The knights all said, dragons, they're not simply beasts. And the dragon said, knights aren't so nice for a feast. Nibble at night, why, of course we do not. Though every so often they sort of forgot.